Welcome back for the second half of uh, the Friday night football game in Plaquemines Parish between South Plaquemines High and Acava Rams. Because of technical difficulties, our show was abbreviated tonight as far as the introduction, but we did want to mention that Carver High School is the team of notoriety that has been uh, in the news about building a field of dreams. And their field of dreams uh, that they're trying to get through donations is in the Ninth Ward, and they're still trying to come back and get that package, and they seem to be on their way. But tonight, the field of dreams are for the South Plaquemines High School team that has a dream of picking up their district victory as Jason Williams kicks off on sides and it appears that the Rams will recover the onside kick right at the 39 yard line. So it was a very entertaining first half as the Canes came out on top leading by a score of eight to six and they'll have their work cut out for them now if they try to derail this Ram offense, who is known for passing. But tonight they've stayed pretty much on the ground because of the wet conditions. But let's see after halftime if they have a change of pace. And... Uh, a nice open field tackle there. Possibly uh, some might say it was a horse collar, but at any rate, he went down hard. Number 75 coming off the field for the Canes, Richard Ancor. So there's no gain on the play or possibly a gain of a yard. And it's now second down for the Rams. Still a, a slight drizzle coming down. The Rams are trying to go wide on the Canes, and that's a very difficult task with the lateral pursuit of the Cane defense as once again they come up with little or no gain on the play. And so that's third down and nine. Uh, the last tackle was made by Jonathan Wilson. And you keep your eye on him. He was the captain tonight, number 50. Passing situation for the Rams. But they keep it on the ground. And that's going to bring up a fourth down as they have about five yards to go. Now the Rams haven't punted yet tonight. So evidently, uh, anyway on the field is four down territory for the Rams. The play is being sent in. The Rams break the huddle and a big Fourth down play early in the third quarter. And it appears that the Rams were coming up with 10 men. So they finally get the 11th man on the field. And uh, Carver calls a timeout. So we have an early timeout and a half. And let's recognize our sponsors as we take this timeout. And action resumes with the Rams trying to convert a fourth and long five situation. Canes in a four-man front. Linebackers are playing back. No blitz. And a screen, but there's a flag on the play. It looks like roughing the pass is going to be called. And if this is the case... In which it is, it's going to pick up a big first down for the Rams. And that's going to be the call as the 
official marches into South Plaquemine territory. And the Rams are very, very fortunate to come up with that gratuitous call by the official. So the Rams are looking at a first down on a 43-yard line. And on a running play by a direct snap, And there's a flag again. And it looks like it's it looks like it's going against the Rams this time. Personal foul. And the favor is being returned. As the Rams go back and forth. From the Kane territory back into their own territory. So let's see if it's a dead ball call or what down is it going to be. And it looks like it's going to be second down. Second and a long ways. For the Rams, yeah. spread formation, empty backfield. Another flag. And uh, Illegal procedure call again on the Rams. So the Rams are going in the wrong direction, and the Canes are pointing them in that direction. Hopefully they can capitalize defensively here. Still second down. And it looks like about 25 yards for the Rams to pick up this first down. <laughs> and the ball falls incomplete. And still looking at long yardage for the Rams as the Canes, uh, Jason Williams, made a nice defensive play in the secondary, denying the receiver an opportunity to bring that ball in. 8.48 in the third quarter. Score still. South Plaquem is eight and the Rams six. And it looks like they're going to call the catch on the sidelines. As the pass was underthrown, or as they say in the pros, to cover up, it was a back shoulder catch. And as a result, it's still short of the first down. But you know the Rams aren't going to punt. So another big fourth down play coming up for the Rams. And it's fourth and about a long six. And a pass falls incomplete. As they did have an open receive in the middle of the field. The Canes do a good job in stopping this first offensive series.
by the Rams. And they will take over on their own 39-yard line. So let's see if the Tyler Martin show will continue. Number four, Tyler the Terrific has done it all for the Canes tonight. Number 32, Delwar Reddick coming in late as Martin approaches the line of scrimmage. And there goes Martin. And terrific Tyler picks up another first down for the Canes and gets into Ram territory. And what a night he's having. It's been Tyler up the middle, Tyler to the right, and Tyler to the left. And I guess he'll need Tyler and all tonight when he gets through. Fumble on the play. The Rams come up with the ball. And somebody made a big tackle by grabbing the shirt. And it looked like Jonathan Wilson reached out with those long arms of his and saved the touchdown for the Canes. But the Rams, nevertheless, retain possession of the ball and have a first down in Kane territory. Clock is stopped on a change of possession with seven minutes and ten seconds left in the third quarter. The score still. The Hurricanes eight, the Rams six. The Hurricane defensive line has been putting good pressure on by just rushing four. The linebackers are not blitzing, just dropping back. And look out, we got a man in the open. And it appears that the touchdown will stand up because there are no flags on the turf. And the Rams have regained the lead on a sweep play to the right side. The Rams line up for the two-point conversion. Motion by the Rams. And the pass is incomplete as the Kane defense holds. And the Rams cling to a precarious 12-8 lead with seven minutes left in the third quarter. And it's time for another pause for the sponsors of this great game. And we have action once again as the Rams kick off from the 40-yard line. And the Canes send uh, Martin back to return. The kick is right down the middle of the field. And, and a nice open field tackle brings down Corin Lytell as he tried to get back to the left side of the field. So the Canes will put the ball in play right around the 33-yard line. So the Canes have to work from behind now in the third quarter as the clock is running with 6.53. And Martin is on the loose. There goes terrific Tyler, and he's going to take it to the house. Tyler Martin. And Tyler Martin answers the call. 
as he puts the Canes back on top. The first play in that offensive series. And the Canes go back in front, 14 to 12. And Tylenol Martin really gives a headache to the Rams defense as he skirts for that long TD run. Martin appears to be in good shape. He's trotting back out on the field. He has a play from Coach Figaro. And I'll let you guess who's going to carry the ball. They look like they're giving Tala a break, and Reddick's under center. And Reddick takes off. Delwar Reddick adds two points to the cause as the Canes now have a 16 to 12 lead. And with that lead and that exciting run, we'll turn you over to our exciting sponsors of tonight's ball game. Welcome back to an exciting ball game here. Down at South Plaquemines Field, as Jason William kicks off. The Rams have the ball, short punt, be returned up to the 37 yard line. as the Canes struck like lightning and regained the lead after the Rams had forged ahead. So 6.33 in the third quarter to score. South Plaquemines 16, the Rams 12, and the Rams get ready to put the ball in play. As number 52, Isaiah Allen, reports to the line of scrimmage. And the Rams on a counter type play pick up about uh, five to six yards. Number eight for South Plaquemines at safety is Travon Ragus. Number 20, Davin Green. Number two, Corin Lytell, all in the secondary along with Jace Williams. And they've done a good job tonight keeping this Ram air attack under surveillance. Davin Green with a great tackle on the far side of the field. And uh, possibly a yard gain. So this brings up third down. as the Rams come up to the line of scrimmage with their pumpkin type helmets. And the quarterback is lassoed on the far sidelines. And it looks like that was uh, the one on the tackle, nice tackle by Dewan. And so the Rams are looking at a fourth down. And of course, they're always in four down territory because they don't punt. Delwar Reddick checking in, number 32 in the secondary. Nice play on the secondary. It looked like Davin Green. And the Canes take over. And of course, that means that Tyler Martin will probably be uh, back at the helm.
First down on the 39, 38-yard line in Ram territory. Martin under center. And it looks like he's going to be a, oh, ball on the ground. Let's see who comes up with the ball. And looks like the Canes recovered. So it looked like it be stacked up at the line. I mean, this Martin kid just continues to drive those legs, and he picks up four yards on the play. Martin's getting ready to bark out the signals. Play clock's down at 10. And that's going to be close to a first down. As, as Martin keeps churning those legs and comes up about two yards short. So with a third down, the Canes appear to be in good position to pick up this first down in short yardage as the clock is running with 3.40 in the third quarter. Motion, Corin Lytell, number two. And there goes Martin. And Martin breaks another one. Would have had more yardage had his, not, his feet slipped out from underneath him. Might have had another six on that play. Nonetheless, it's a first down for the Canes. And Martin continues to punish this Ram defense with smash mouth football. Martin takes it to the right this time. And he's got about three yards on the play. So it's second down. As Martin comes up, the call of signals, will it be Martin to the right or to the left? As he looks over the defense, Appears to be trying to spot a weakness. And he looks like he found one as he picks up some more positive yardage. So that's a third down and uh, a good four yards as the clock is going to run inside of two minutes. Coach Figaro talking to Martin. Canes appear to be running the clock, waiting for that 10-second signal. And Martin's gone again. And the Ram defense just cannot stop Tyler Martin. He has been a phenomenal weapon for the Hurricanes tonight on offense as he continues to just dominate this game with his running. And it looks at it or appears that Martin is getting stronger as the game progresses. He looks like one of those mutters, you know, a type of kid that can really plant his feet on a wet field and just pick up yardage. And I don't have the stats in front of me, but Martin might be in the range of breaking the carrying record for South Plaquemines in a single game. I don't think I've ever seen a back 
have this many carries. Possibly O.J. Simpson at Southern Cal. But he's got over 200 yards, and he's not finished yet as we're still in the third quarter, and he's looking to score from the five-yard line. And Martin gets close. And that might be the last play of the third quarter. Uh, the Canes are trying to hurry it up. And we have a penalty on the play. Oh, uh, someone call a timeout. So with a timeout on the field, we'll take a timeout up in the press box. And uh, hopefully our patrons will take a time out for our sponsors at CMA. And we return to action as the Canes have the ball right on a two-yard line. Martin at the controls. Should be the last play of the quarter. And there's a fumble on the play. And it looks like uh, that's going to be the end of the third quarter. But the Canes did retain possession of the ball. And so they retain an opportunity in the fourth quarter to increase their lead as we take a break right before your exciting fourth quarter of action begins for our local sponsors. <laughs> 